I wanted to make a follow-up video to the um, the changing of the locks video because uh, if you follow my channel, uh, my wife moved out, took a bunch of stuff, and uh, so I felt uh, well. And also, you know, we talked about this in another video. Is uh, you know, when you buy a house, um, you don't know, you know. The previous neighbors could have given them keys to other neighbors uh, or relatives, or maybe they kept a key themselves. Um, so the changing out of the locks is real important. And at first I bought a lock at um, Ace Hardware. I made a previous video about all of this, so I won't go into details about all of that. And, uh, and then I found out uh, you can rekey the locks. Um, so I said for, well, actually a little bit less and I wanted the same key to be able to open both my deadbolts um, and they said they could rekey it and and you know what it was probably a good thing I, I didn't know you could do this he said there was a master pin in the lock uh, which would allow two keys to open up the lock he says was your house ever a rental property and I said I don't know <laughs> you know what I mean because I, I the house has been here since 2000 and I thought well hell you know I guess it could have been a rental property at some point, or maybe somebody rekeyed the locks like I'm doing. Um, and, and and what the guy, because I, you know, I got to take him at his word. I don't know anything about locksmithing. I'd love to learn. I think that'd be a talent. You know, you'll see in the movies where they pick them locks and everything. Wouldn't that be cool to be able to do something like that? I just, I, I wish I could. And in fact, he had a job opening at the locksmith shop. But once again, they need experience. They, they don't want to train you to do it all. And plus, it's a traveling job. And I said, well, that's probably above my pay grade. But uh, so anyway, um, let's just talk about because I just did the front door because I had to get it done so I could go to sleep tonight <laughs> and have the deadbolt. Uh, well, putting the lock back in. Now, of course, I didn't rekey it. I paid the locksmith to do that. Uh, by the way, I, I, I love the comments on my YouTube channel. Um, Guy came in and uh, he said, he said, hey, you know, uh, and, and obviously being he maybe from the military, you, know, you always want multi layers of defense. And I thought this was a good, good point. You know, he said that his company sells these thorny bushes and you can plant them outside the windows. And, you know, burglars, they don't want to climb through them thorny bushes. And are they going to bring the cutters to cut down the thorny bushes? Well, I guess if you've got something extremely valuable in the house, they probably would. But for the average house, they're not going to cut through them. And so, you know, that's something I may do down the road. But, you know, right now I'm I'm mainly just focused on the windows and the locks at this point. So uh, I did want to describe uh, the process uh, for for putting the lock back in, because it's kind of like when Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall and he broke into a thousand pieces, putting him back together again. <laughs> is <laughs> a hell of a lot harder than uh, than uh, um, him just breaking apart. So taking these locks off, piece of cake, right? Uh, but uh, putting it back in, I swear I just took, and I know I'm stupid as hell, but I mean, it took me two, three hours at least to, to get the lock in. And I, I kept unscrewing it and I kept doing everything. Um, but let's just talk about putting it in real quick because I and then I'll get some other clips here once I get started you know the first thing I always do with a new project like this is I always use some petroleum jelly on the screws uh, because you never know when you might have to take some especially on a car or uh, even a house lock or whatever I just throw some jelly on there um, now you you could put oil but I, I find this stuff does a lot better because then when you break it free you know you're not going to strip the bolts or anything hopefully and this is of course this is the door to my garage. Hey, that's another thing the guy, uh, the locksmith pointed out. And I hadn't thought about it because we talked in the previous video about how I'm going to reinforce the front door. Okay. And I showed you that uh, uh, protector thing. And we'll get a video of that when I get around to it. I, I That's that's down the road because <clears throat> I'm dealing with other things right now with a divorce going on. But uh he said, well, you know, what's the door look like to your garage? Because I guess, you know, he's an experienced locksmith. He says, well, does it open out or does it open in? <laughs> so, so I said, well, it opens out. He says, well, you don't need another one of those uh, uh, protectors uh, for your garage door. If somebody gets into the garage, 
they got to kick this whole frame out, <laughs> you know, when you think about it. And, you know, and these are the stupid things we don't think about. I mean, think about it. It's, it's shut right here. I mean, you got all of this reinforcement. To kick this door in because it opens outward, it was going to be a pain in the butt. And so then the question in my mind comes, why don't we have all doors open out? You know, why is my front door open and inward where I have to reinforce it so that on that door they have to kick the frame in? But, hey, I'm... I'm I guess I'm just an idiot homeowner. Um, so, well, for now, anyway. Um, so, um, I just want to get into uh, one of the things I did. Cost a lot extra, and, and I probably could have gone to um, Home Depot or Lowe's, uh, uh, maybe even Ace Hardware, and had these keys made um, and uh, and saved some money. Because I tell you what, the locksmith they they charge you a lot of money for extra keys, and you know they got to make money somewhere because. It was only um, twelve fifty to rekey the locks, but then they were just going to give me one key. I said, "No, man, I I want five keys at least, you know, and because uh, uh, you know I got to have it for my uh, my motorcycle keys, right? Uh, I got to have it for my uh, my car keys. This is just one. I got another one, so that's that's four keys right there. Uh, and then the fifth key, I'm sure I'll come up with something for it, you know. Um, you know, now I I got the garage door opener, but I'm I'm thinking in the future when I go out and, and open that garage door, I'm, I'm probably going to start locking this deadbolt, you know. So um, just me after, because, you know, whatever. So uh, uh, first thing I ran into, um, and this is just a tip. Okay, now the, the, the locksmith did uh, graphite the, uh, the keyhole lock. Now, if, he, if your locksmith doesn't do that, you're going to have to put some lubrication down in here. Because these keys, when they, when they re-key it, they don't go in real easily. Okay? But the first thing you're going to want to do is insert that key into the lock. And the reason for that is, uh, and, and this is what I found out after three hours of work, is because you got to get that keyhole just right on, well, this, this is going on the other side of the door. But you got to get it just right on the door right here and having the key in, you know, you want it upright like this with the key so that you can turn it and test the lock once you get kind of everything lined up. Now we're going to get into the whole doggone project here in a minute, but uh, just a brief, brief summary. So that's, that's the first thing is put the key in because I wasn't doing that. And every single time I'm telling you, I would turn the knob and the deadbolt would just freeze i couldn't get it out <laughs> couldn't get it out the side of the door i'm like what did i do wrong i got the bolts in there i got the screws in there why won't the doggone dead bolt work you know so finally it, it took me putting the key in first and getting it oriented because what happens is sometimes when you turn the key you know you're going the wrong way <laughs> with the dead bolt and everything else so you got to get it just right because you know if you're just a happy homeowner i'm sure the locksmith they know all all the details, but I'm just giving you my 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 summary of it. So then, um, um, you know, on the back of I'm trying not to drop it down in my washing machine. I guess I should have closed the lid here. Is this goes on the other side first, okay? And then this is just the uh, the turn handle. And uh, so let's just kind of get into the project. Um, you know, I, I don't want to waste too much time with this video, but I'm just kind of trying to detail the steps, and uh, I'll try to get you. I'm going to open this door, take the take the uh, video camera into the garage so you can kind of see what I'm doing to get the screws in. Because, man, I tell you, I struggled and I struggled and I struggled. And, and like I said, put some Vaseline on the screws. All right, let's, let's get going. So fortunately, when my wife moved out, I had all of my camping equipment with me because she took my headlamps and my flashlights with her. Uh, maybe I'll get some back. I got to talk to her about it. I mean, I'm, she says she's trying to be fair, and we'll uh, we'll find out. But uh, I had a headlamp in the car because when you're camping, you always keep a headlamp in the car. But let's get back to the lock thing. So you see what I got here is this lock is just hanging out the door, and I just got it in there. Okay, so let's try to get this on the video. So I'm just going to push it up in here just a little bit. Okay, try to get the light on it. So let's watch that. That dead bolt. So watch this. So when I turn the key, you see how it just comes right out? And I've got the keyhole oriented towards the bottom of the lock. Alright? So 
what you want to do is leave I'm just going to get it on the video and move it over to the side. Leave that deadbolt out because what happens is when you try to screw in the lock, a lot of times it'll pin it to the top or the bottom, which makes it really difficult to operate the deadbolt, which was my experience anyway. Maybe sometimes just being a beginner at these things. So the next thing that you do, okay, now you could put a clamp on here. I thought about that getting out my woodworking clamps, but I found it works just fine. So you can see, well, you probably can't see it, but the key turner is at towards the bottom. So you're going to want to take this piece and orient it right over top of that. Okay, now, and you'll see why the headlamp is so important here in just a second. Okay, now I'm not going to show you the whole process, but I've already Vaselined these bolts. Okay. And so what I'm looking for is to line it up just a little bit on this side. And then what I do is I pull this out just a little bit. And I'm looking to get the key, the screw through the hole of the deadbolt. Okay. That's screw number one. This is, so you can see the longer screw. So screw number two, I'm just trying to get it through. Get through the plate on the back here. And get that through the hole of the deadbolt. Now... Because I got the headlamp on, to get it just right, I can I can line those deadbolts up with the holes on the the uh, key lock here on this side. Okay, now I, at first I was trying to use a screwdriver, and that's wrong. You know, you want to hand tighten these into the hole. See how that went in, just just perfect. So that's the first screw going in, and see I'm eyeballing it from from the top here. Okay, so the second screw, watch this, probably just go right in. There you go. All right. Let's see if I got it. Yeah, it's in there. So I just hand tighten them up a bit. Get the lock. And this is, see, this is what I ran into with the first one. Trying to get the lock oriented just right. Okay, and so now you want to test it. There you go. See how the deadbolts, I haven't tightened the screws. I'm just making sure that it's going in and out. Okay, so once again, I'm going to leave that deadbolt out. All right, and then I'm going to take a screwdriver and I'm going to tighten these first two screws up, making sure that the key is working. All right. And also, I, I go ahead, I'm going to put a little, I put a little Vaseline on here too, the uh, deadbolt, to make it go in and out easier. You know, because when a, when a thief is coming, it doesn't matter how easy the deadbolt goes in and out. It's whether, when they kick the door in, it's going to hold, you know, they're going to have to bust through the frame. So let's get to the, uh, let me get the other screws and get the back, I'll screw these in, and then we'll get the back side, and then this project will be done. But you can see how much quicker... You know, I spent three hours on the first doggone lot. These are the things you learn, you know, you're like, well, and, and you, you might say, well, you could, you could hire a, a locksmith and just have them come in and do it. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure, and they'd be a hell of a lot faster at it than I am. But uh, I, I, I'm not made of money at this point. My wife took a lot, so I got to do as much as I can myself. So let's get going. I'm going to just do exactly what I said, and then... Uh, I'll show you the, the front side and then we're done. Okay. Just wanted to show you this real quick. All I did was put the face plate on here. The bottom hole goes towards the bottom or the handle. And you orient it to the, uh, the bar that comes out of the lock on the back. Then you test it by turning the knob to make sure the deadbolt goes out and in and out easily. And then you take... These two screws, they're just little screws, and you just hand tighten them in. This is the second one. I didn't show you the first one, okay? And then I'll take a Phillips screwdriver, and then because you want them to go in smoothly, and this one's not right now. Um, so, yeah, it's going in. Okay. So all I got to do is just tighten these in with a screwdriver, and uh, this will work perfectly. And there you go. You're done. You changed your deadbolt lock and it didn't take you three hours like it did me.